to this week's Bird Glamour video. We're shooting in southern British Columbia at my parents' place. One of the birds that we're hearing an awful lot in the early mornings here is a rather underrated, unsung hero of the bird world, the mourning dove. Now, mourning doves, they are part of the pigeon family, and when a lot of people think about pigeons, they think about all of the negative things that are associated with pigeons. They're called flying rats, people put up pigeon spikes and pigeon lime on buildings to keep pigeons off of them because they don't like the unsightly poops that pigeons make on buildings. But pigeons are actually really fascinating little birds, and morning doves are no exception. Morning doves are very subtly colored, and for bird glamour, this makes for a almost ready-to-wear everyday look. So I'm going to put the morning dove look on my face, and you let me know if this is a look that you would wear outside or to a party. Oh, that is a big spider. Oh my, my spider. Right there, crawling behind the camera. That's a spider. Hello, yes. You're crawling up the window now. Oh, oh, hello. Spiders are cool. I like spiders. They uh, are an important part of our ecosystem but I don't want them touching me. You just stay right there behind the camera. Yeah, that's good. You're good there. <laughs> One could describe morning dove coloration as dull, I suppose, if you are an unimaginative person, but the brown of a morning dove is so much more than just a brown. If you examine it closely, it's a very sandy buff color, but it has layers of orange and very subtle pink in there. So while it looks kind of dull and drab on first glance, when the light hits the feathers of the morning dove, it's just this beautiful, complex, buffy color that the morning dove finds very useful for camouflage. So morning doves actually do very well in deserty type environments not only because they can drink water that's a heck of a lot more brackish than we can, um, if we drank the same type of brackish water that morning doves could drink, we would dehydrate in nothing flat, but morning doves can process this type of water. It makes the drier habitats really successful areas for morning doves. I'm going to use uh, one of the lighter iridescent shades from the Maybelline Nudes palette, and I'm going to use a small fluffy brush to put this all over my eyelids, both upper eyelids and a little bit underneath as well. So let's get started with that. I now have the base buffy brown down for the morning dove look, 
And now I'm going to start layering on the oranges and the pinks to give it that complex, uh, wonderful camouflaging look that morning doves possess. Now if you live in the United States, in southern Canada, and in Mexico, you're right in morning dove habitat. This song that I'm going to play for you now comes from the Cornell Lab's All About Birds website, and from the Morning Dove page, and I know that you have heard this noise before. <coughs> That's a very common sound to hear in the early morning and in the late evening, uh, especially if you live near any sort of agricultural area with open fields, uh, places where there's a lot of grain. Morning doves are grain-eating birds, and they're ground-feeding birds too. So these are good areas to look for morning doves. To start with the next edition of the Morning Dove look, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette and layering on a little bit of the orange color Jones with a slightly larger fluffy brush. When you find Morning Doves feeding in an area, there's usually quite a decent flock of them there, and they're not eating directly at the sites. What they do is they gather up lots and lots of little seeds and they store them in a structure in their esophagus called a crop. So you can kind of think of a crop the way that we use a reusable shopping bag when we go to the grocery store. So morning doves will stuff their crops full of seeds and then they'll fly off to a safe area to digest those seeds later on. Oh, my friendly spider is now on the curtain. Oh, I'm so glad that it's becoming more adventurous. Good for you, spider. All right, we'll ignore the spider. I'll try to ignore the spider. One of the largest recorded number of seeds in a morning dove crop was 17,200 bluegrass seeds all stuffed into the crop of one morning dove. And morning doves can eat roughly up to 20% of their body weight per day. Now morning doves aren't that big so this equals about 71 calories. Our morning dove look is starting to look a lot more like camouflage now. Uh, the layered on orange is uh, adding that nice sandstone color to it. So to finish off the layering, I'm going to add a little bit more Urban Decay, and uh, we're going to go with the color Alchemy, and I'll be using the same larger fluffy brush to just very gently dust on some of this lovely subtle pink. Morning doves are one of the most widespread game birds in North America, uh, up to 20 million are uh, harvested or hunted annually, but this doesn't seem to be putting a big dent in their numbers because morning doves are very prolific breeders. Uh, some morning doves have been known to have up to six broods per breeding season, and there's usually two little morning dove chicks per brood. Something else that morning doves are known for is creating a substance called crop milk that they feed their young. So not only is the crop a wonderful reusable grocery bag for a morning dove, it is also a structure that produces food for their young. So it's a multi-purpose uh, structure in their esophagus. Uh, crop milk is secreted from the lining of the crop, and then it is regurgitated, which is a fancy way to say barfed into the mouths of the baby birds. So what does crop milk look like? It kind of looks like a yellowy cottage cheese, 
doesn't sound very appetizing to us mammals, but for baby pigeons, this is good stuff. Because crop milk is very high in protein and fat, which is exactly what a baby bird needs to have a healthy start in life. There's two other little features that I need to apply to make this a morning dove specific look. One is some eyeliner. Now morning doves have a very pale blue eye ring. It's the color of the skin around their eye that doesn't have a lot of feathers on it. So I'm going to use MAC Cosmetics Aqua and an angled brush to put on a very dramatic eye line for this bird. Rather than having a cat's eye look where most of the eyeliner protrudes on the outside of the eye, to make this a morning dove specific look, I will be extending the eye line in towards the bridge of my nose. Now it's time for the finishing touch of the morning dove look. And that's the tiny little black spot that you can sometimes see on the side of the morning dove's neck. You might not see it if the morning dove's feathers are all ruffled up or if it has its neck tucked in, but if the neck is fully extended and the feathers are nice and smooth, you'll see a tiny little black dot on the neck. Now I'm not going to put any makeup on my neck, but I'll incorporate that little black dot into my eye makeup. And I will be, once again, going to the Urban Decay palette, and I'll be using the color Platonic and applying it with a stiff angled brush. When birds are hunted, uh, they don't use just solid slugs to hunt small birds. The, the type of shot that's used for a bird is called bird shot, which is made up of tiny, tiny little pellets that when they're fired out, they scatter and they have more of a chance of hitting birds that are smaller and in flocks. Now, unfortunately, a lot of this shot is made out of lead. And unfortunately, again, the shot is just the right size that morning doves feeding on the ground will look at spent shot and go, oh, seeds, I will eat these seeds. And unfortunately, all they end up ingesting is a bunch of lead, which is toxic for, well, not just birds, but many animals. I've now finished the morning dove look. So now I'm ready to go visit some morning dove habitat. Let's go. So I was hoping to take you out into some morning dove habitat and hopefully see some morning doves in action, but uh, as you can see, it's raining. So all good morning doves are now roosted in trees, staying nice and dry, and I'm going to do the same because the rain is getting pretty bad right now. So uh, I'll see you back inside. I'll end the morning dove bird glamour video with a rather horrific sounding anecdote from my mom. So my mom's sipping her tea and watching this elegant, beautiful morning dove feeding on the ground, eating up all of the millet that the chickadees have kicked from the hanging feeder, and in flies a pine siskin, another common feeder bird. The morning dove approached the pine siskin, pinned it down with its foot, and then started repeatedly pecking on the back of the neck and the top of the pine siskin's head. So my mom was admittedly shocked and <laughs> did not expect this kind of behavior from a very gentle, peaceful looking morning dove, and so she tapped on the dining room window and everybody scattered. So it's behaviors like this that are really good reminders that these birds, no matter how beautiful they are, no matter how adorably cute they are, like little fluffy cotton balls, they're still wild animals and they're going to behave sometimes unpredictably. And all of these behaviors are natural for the bird, no matter how horrific they may seem in our eyes. So do you have an interesting story to tell about uh, in bird behavior that you've observed that may be shocked or surprised or maybe even horrified you? Share it in the comments section below. I like to hear about all sorts of interesting animal behavior. So thanks for joining me this week on Bird Glamour. See you next time.